How y'all doing? Bad Guy Flies RC here. We're down here at the Man Cave. We're going to do an unboxing of the E-Flight RV7 1.1 meter. Now, I've only taken this out of the cardboard crate that you see down there, but I've not opened this yet. So let's uh, take this part here. The, uh, and one thing when you're opening up these E-Flight planes, FM planes, they pack these things so tight, it's better if you open up one end and it'll... Uh, Help release some of the suction. It just makes it easier. Trust me, I've opened up enough of these planes, I know, right? Okay, so as usual, I can already tell that it's gonna be glorious, wonderful, and packed beautiful. Very well protected. Try to keep everything on my table. Alright, so we got the outer box. Why you gotta go ahead and uh, Connect your, put the end, one end of your box back together, otherwise it'll fall into a flat piece and you'll have a hard time putting it, the foam back in there. All right, so let's, now today I'm filming, <laughs> put the knife in, yeah. um, today I'm filming a little bit different. Instead of using my GoPro, I'm using my new phone. Um, I don't know what it is. It's a Samsung Ultra 21 5G. Yeah. I don't, you know, it just seems like it's got a really good camera, so I figured, you know, what the heck, I'll put it on there. And as usual, you got uh, excessive tape, keeping everything, got your manual here, and, you know, save your manual. People say don't use, you know, save it. You got this nice uh, Ziploc bag, to put it in, got a little uh, thing here, or code for some free stuff. Get rid of this, and, and always put throw your debris away as you're using. Just makes it nicer to have your debris. Um, nice prop, 11 by six, three bladed prop. Tips are already painted. You know what? And I am suspecting that the, <laughs> I think I'm right. I'm thinking it's the same prop that goes with the Cirrus and the Turbo Timber. I could be wrong. Let's see, that's a three-bladed prop. I got one right there. It looks an awful lot like it. I might be wrong. Little bitty uh, bag of bits and pieces, your spinner, your the glue-on pieces, your buy and plug, the very few screws that you need. And looks like a two millimeter hex drive is what I'm Guessing that, just by a quick glance. All right, let's take this piece here, take our trusty knife, not to cut our fingers. And I'm going against my normal rules, folks, when, I, when I'm in here. Um, I'm not having coffee instead of having a, a zero drink. <laughs> I usually have coffee. All right, look at this beautiful wing. Nice. You can all, I mean, you can, if you really look close, you can see the foam cells, but man, are they tightly cooked. I mean, they're, you can see them in the white roll well, but in the painted area, boy, you can't see them at all. And uh, got the quick connect there, so no, you know, basically that's idiot proof there. You got flaps, you got ailerons, you got a beautiful wing. Set that over there. Not a big plane. It's 1100 millimeter or one point, excuse me, 1.1 meter. Take our cardboard pieces. Hey, one end of the horizontal stabilizer. The other end, the other side of the horizontal stabilizer. Um, nothing down in there, nothing in here, nothing in here. Okay, so we got that. Here is your Spinor, 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 a little bitty carbon fiber spar, which is going to be in the horizontal uh, stabilizer or elevator. Um, th this thing is just packed so nice. I mean, I think you could, you know, pack this plane, drop it off a truck from about 50 feet, and you wouldn't have a bit of problem. One piece of landing gear, another piece of landing gear, okay. And then, of course, 
the ever famous, ever needed, and loved fuselage. The fuselage. Fuselage. Okay. Alright, put that back down there. table configured a little bit smaller now. Give myself some more room in the man cave. Look at this beautiful fuselage as I drop it. Um, the pilot, they've done a much better detailed job on the pilot. Much more dis, um, detailed paint on there. Very low count. Let's go ahead and I can just lay this out for you right now where you can see everything. You got your spinner. I mean, here. Let me grab the, the camera and let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna grab the camera now. So hold on to your hat. Okay. But look at this. Look at this. Fuselage, wing, elevator pieces, landing gear, spinner, spar, prop, nuts and bolts. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And manual. So, I mean, come on. How easy is that? Now, let's open up. Let me set this down for just a moment. Open this up. Look at that nice, big, wide battery hatch. Take a look in here. There's the inside of your fuselage. Oh, man. Got a smart ESC, a wireless, uh, well, you got a wired antenna, but you got the bind, uh, push button bind. This is a, a four cell and a three cell. Got that light right here on the tail. There's lights on the wing tips. I mean, come on. This is going to be such a quick and easy build. Everything goes into, bra into brass, bra brass fittings. This is going to be a super simple build. And uh, folks, I don't think I'm going to do a build video. I think I'm just going to put it together. And if I have any problems, I'll let you know. Um, because this really is simple. Uh, this is very, very simple. This is not anything that's... Uh, for, this could be your... As far as a build goes, yeah, this could be your first plane putting together. As far as assembly, very simple. So uh, I don't think we're going to have any issues at all. There's your parts. All right, well, we're going to sign off for now and uh, get her together. All right, folks. I don't know. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, here you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Fat Guy Flies RC saying love y'all. Have a good one. I'll spin you back around.